All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Ollie Ward, and welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, a fantastic week, and are you lot as bored as I am? Okay, Leeds United haven't played, and it feels like a year. It's coming up to a month. The next time we play Villa, it'll pre I think it's like 29 days since we last kicked a football in the Premier League. I'm getting bored, guys, but I have got some content for you today. But get down there and comment what you guys are doing while Leeds United aren't playing. I know there's other football. I know it's now international break, but I don't care. Get me Leeds United on my TV. Before we do get into the Leeds United news, guys, be sure to smash that like button. Let's go for 150 likes on this video. Also, subscribe if you are new. I'm going to give you three seconds. One, two, three. Thank you for subscribing. And also comment just thoughts on the news, What's going to, what I'm about to tell you, and also what are you guys doing while Leeds aren't playing. Just let me know because I am bored. Okay, and this is the only content I can really get out for you guys for now. Without further ado, let's get into the Leeds United news. We're going to start off with a potential signing in the 2023... Why did I say it like that? In the 2023 January transfer window. We're going to talk about Daichi Kamada, okay? The Frankfurt attacking midfielder. Leeds United are competing with Tottenham for the signature of the Frankfurt midfielder slash forward. He can play in both. I don't know about you guys. If you don't know him, go check out the highlights. I, I always like to say that. He is fantastic. I've watched him in the Europa League for Frankfurt. I've watched a couple of Bundesliga games and he's, he's just always the best player on the pitch. It feels a bit like why is no one else going in for him? Do you know what I mean? Uh, he scored four goals already in the Bundesliga from six games. This guy plays attacking midfielder, by the way. Um, Leeds could sign him on a pre-contract in January because his contract does run out with Frankfurt in the summer. It's not known yet if he wants to sign a new contract or maybe he wants a bit of Premier League experience. But Tottenham won him as well and Leeds United are in the race for him as well. This is from James Marshman, who's reported it from a German source out there in Germany, obviously. Um... Leeds are looking at him, and I like that. I would like another attacking midfielder, because if Brendan Aronson gets injured, yeah, you can play Rodrigo there, but then it misses out someone else there. I, I think this break, actually, in fairness, is, as much as it's annoying, if the players have got time to regain fitness. I know a lot of the, uh, some of the players, sorry, are going on international break. You're Brendan Aronson, Tyler Adams, and Luis Sinistera, who are out there, I believe, going to play tonight. I'm not 100% sure, as, as I'm recording. I believe they're playing tonight. Um, but yeah, I just hope, fingers crossed, they don't get any injuries. But Kamada could be a fantastic signing for Leeds United. And it, he'd, he'd really fit into the Marsh system, the pressing, the uh, attacking scenarios that he gets himself into. Just fits a Marsh system, I think, personally, better than a Conte Tottenham. That's just me. Uh, the second bit of news I want to talk about is Jao Felix to Leeds. Jao Felix, the Portuguese Atletico Madrid young striker. Okay, he's not coming to Leeds, but he says he supports Leeds. Like, what is going on with all these players? Haaland, I get. Ousmane Dembele, I don't get. And now Joe Felix. What are Leeds United doing, doing to make these players love Leeds? I'm probably doing what we all do while we love Leeds. I don't even know. But there we are. Joe Felix to Leeds confirmed. I think I'm going to put it in the title. Um, <laughs> I'm not. Well, I might do. Uh, the next bit of news we are going to talk about is Ben Bereton Diaz. You know, Bereton Diaz from Blackburn. He's always on the radar. And again, Leeds could sign him in January on a free. His contract's dying as well. Dying? His contract's ending as well. So Leeds could always do that. I personally believe we should be going for better if we want to, you know, move as a club. I do like him. I think he just had a very good season last year or the year before that now. I can't even remember. I don't believe he's the man we should be relying on to score us the goals, if I'm being completely honest. If we're going to get in a uh, a striker like that, I want like a proper striker. I know I've been saying it the whole time, I want a, I want a Cody Gakpo. And we are going to talk about Cody Gakpo and Victor Orta and some comments that he has made. Um, so let's just get into that right now. So Diaz, yeah, you know what, it's always in the news. Um, I'm just going to talk about Victor Orta now. Obviously, recently he's been linked with Chelsea to be their sporting director or, or, or along them lines, what he does at Leeds United. Um, I don't believe he will go. Uh, I, I really don't. Uh, they they can have... I think they will interview him, maybe. I, I'm not 100% sure what Chelsea are doing right now. But I believe Victor Orta is Leeds through and through, if I'm being completely honest. I, I really do. I don't think he'd like to work... Uh, like with a board that's like Chelsea's at the moment a bit of a chaotic American who's just playing football manager pretty much so I think he will stay at Leeds United but we are going to talk about Victor Orta he made some comments saying about we want a Gakpo they understood why PSV did not want to um, let him go and why the player probably didn't want to come to Leeds Leeds did have some sort of bid which was like, we're going to put this in, we're going to give you 30 million plus 12 million in add-ons or something like that. But the add-ons, like a majority of the add-ons included if Leeds qualify for the Champions League, which 
I think the board have got to be realistic and say, we're nowhere near there right now. We're really not nowhere near there right now. Give it two seasons, maybe two, three seasons. You never know. But right now to say that, PSV are just going to laugh at that offer. So he admitted his failure there. He wanted to get in Diang. Diang was pretty much Leeds player. And then in the end, we've got Willy, Willy Ganonto from, um, well, now is the Italian international. We've got a young Italian international. It just feels good. And I'm, I'm happy he's here now. Sorry if you can hear some sort of an alarm in the background. I don't know what that is all about. Uh, but yeah, Victor Rota owned up to his mistakes. I think he'll stay at Leeds. And without further ado, we're going to get into the next bit of news. The last bit of news, which is to do with the Leeds United Academy. Um, they've got a documentary coming out on Prime. It's going to be, a, a, a hopefully, a good documentary. It's coming out Friday the 23rd of September. It looks very good. And I kind of just want to get to see the behind the scenes. So if you do have Prime and you're interested in the Legion Art Academy, the Joffies, the Sam Greenwoods, the Somerville, you'll see all of it. And it looks good. It does look good. Um, so that comes out tomorrow. Be sure to check that out. I don't know why I'm saying it like the club are paying me to say that, but they should. Okay, the club should pay me to say that. Uh, so watch that on Amazon Prime. But guys, this main video was just to get some content out, speak with you guys, and football does return for Leeds United next Sunday, which is fantastic. We play Aston Villa, and obviously I'm going to be streaming, giving you a reaction, all that good stuff. It'll be good to be back, ladies and gentlemen. But for now, I've just given you this Leeds United news. What is your thoughts on Kamada of Frankfurt? If you don't know him, go watch some highlights. Honestly, it would be a fantastic signing if Leeds United could make that signing. Hopefully, we could beat Tottenham. I don't know, though. Who knows? Guys, I've been Ollie Ward. Be sure to smash 150 likes on this just because there's no real content, guys. And if I get a comment saying, this is a pointless story, not going to happen, give me a content idea there, mate. Give me a content idea. I don't have one. So here's some news. I hope it does happen because it's a decent source from a German source. Come from James Marshman from the Mirror. So yeah, it, it could be, there could be some realism there. There could be. Who knows? But without further ado, guys, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new and also comment just your thoughts on all the news I've said today and what you guys are doing while Leeds aren't playing. Let me know in the, in the comments down below. Without further ado, I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheery. Oh.